Hello and welcome to the Pasta Podcast, where we talk about nothing but pasta. Today we will not be talking about pasta. Today we will be talking about childhood shows. I, of course, am a pasta chef. My name is Gigi. Hello and welcome, my fellow pasta chef. What is your name? Olivia. Hello, Olivia. Are you we'll Are you feeling prepared to talk about the things today? Yeah, I'm feeling prepared to talk about the things today. Um, why don't we hop right into it? Why don't you start us off, Gigi? What's your um, what's what's one of your childhood shows that you grew up with that's in your childhood? Well, this one, um, I do have a couple on here that I don't know if you've ever seen, but um, this and one we've both seen. Me and Gigi grew up in the two thousands. Yeah uh 2002 and 2003 are our birth years so you oh, know we're disclosing that <laughs> it's not <laughs> like i said your full name <laughs> you're like nobody can know <laughs> also nobody knows whether you're the 2002 baby or i am um anyways so this this uh first one that i wrote down is from both of our childhoods it's from everybody's childhood really spongebob and now we've done a whole it. a whole episode about SpongeBob. <laughs> so we could keep it short. But incredible, incredible show. It it battles every it takes on every, you know, subject that you'd want your child to know about, like Neptune. <laughs> and is there a god? Yeah. Um, they do they delve and, a lot into that in their getting out of the water episodes mm-hmm. yeah and most importantly david hasselhoff yeah so, so there's the there three is a god stages. and it's david hasselhoff so there's the three stages what was the first thing you said i missed it um neptune neptune so the three stages of life um <laughs> neptune questioning if there's a god and then believing in god because david hasselhoff yeah so you know i mean i would think he was god if i was a fish and he shot me from his chest like that (laughs) i'd be like Um, nobody's supposed to be able to do this yeah most people know him from baywatch i know him from spongebob as a typical human being would as a Um, person should i think that the one one of the things about spongebob is that they have like really creepy and in-depth episodes about stuff and i it like freaks me out sometimes like what's the most freaky episode of spongebob that you can remember um well see the hash slinging slasher episode was a little a little scary to me but i don't remember no it's the future episode that one scares me Especially when they like everything chrome. (laughs) It doesn't like the future part of it doesn't scare me. It scares me the um it scared me the cavemen scared me because I looked exactly like SpongeBob and Patrick. Um (laughs) and also I I was like, are they gonna hurt SpongeBob and Patrick? And you know, when you're a kid and you're watching a TV show about your favorite cartoon characters, you believe that they're real. So this like actually happened in my mind and I was like, they're going to attack him. They're going to kill Spongebob. (laughs) Yeah. No, you really think that. And you're kind of like, um, when that happens, you're kind of just like, I don't know who I'm rooting for right now. Yeah. Um, and also, yeah, the, the other thing that scared me about that episode was like them not being able to get back to like their time because like, Oh yeah. And that's a big deal for me because years years after this episode aired, I became a Doctor Who fan, and that's the <laughs> biggest that's the biggest issue in that show is not being able to be in the right timeline. In the first season of Doctor Who, he accidentally uh, takes Rose away from her family for a whole year, and they don't know where she went. So, <laughs> that's good it. job. They don't know where she went. Um. One thing that freaked me out when I was little was um, the fear of going somewhere and not knowing how to get back. And so um, 
like when we would go on road trips and stuff, I would be like, but you guys know how to get back, right? Because back in the day, we didn't have Google Maps and stuff. We had the paper map and my parents would be like reading the map and I'd be like, okay, you know how to get back though, right? And I mean, I don't know why that bothered me so much because we always got back. Sometimes we would get lost, but we'd find our way. But um, I, I, I remember like when watching that future episode and him not being able to get back like finding his way back that freaked me out yeah it's it's not a it's not it's not something you want to see as a kid no. is your favorite cartoon characters like stranded well, what's your different favorite time. Spongebob episode um my I think wait sorry interrupt you for a second I think for every show we discuss we should say our least favorite and our favorite Okay. Um, my least favorite Spongebob episode is the, um, there, there's this episode in the beginning. Like, it's not like a bad episode. I just don't like it. It has no content. Um, in like the very first season of Spongebob, there's this like part of the, cause you know, all the episodes are like 20 minutes ish, but they have three episodes in an episode. So they're like five yeah. minutes. Um, and this episode, no speaking, no, like, words spoken. Um, and it's just, like, background music. And it's, like, Spongebob clearing off his, like, like blow, uh, blow drying. <laughs> um, leaf blowing his, like, yard and stuff. And getting stuff all over Squidward. I think that's one of the first episodes ever. Yeah, it is one of the first episodes. But it's so boring. <laughs> Like, it's funny when you're a kid because you're like, haha, he's he's dirty now and he's upset about it. <laughs> I thought but, you were going to say the one where he has the party with the jellyfish. but And I was going to be really disappointed because I love that episode. <laughs> no, that's a great episode. That is a great episode. <laughs> but my my top my top one episode of Spongebob, um, I, I hate to say the Spongebob movie, but the Spongebob movie is just so well crafted. It just is. And also because the movie, they've got like way better budget for it. So the movie looks really good. Um, and also David Hasselhoff. <laughs> <laughs> and my favorite part of that, uh, my favorite part of that movie is where uh, Patrick says, where's the rest of the road, road, road. And then it like is zooming out, but yeah. then it cuts back to him and he's just repeating road. And even SpongeBob's like, wait a second, I thought that was an echo. <laughs> <laughs> um Okay. That's a that's a good one though. I mean So yours. So mine my least favorite episode, I wanna say it's um where he it's a Halloween special, I believe. And he basically shaves himself down so that his brain is showing. I and, remember that um, one. I hated that. <laughs> it freaked me out so much. <laughs> I don't know why it freaked me out so much, but I did not like it. It was so scary to see SpongeBob like that. I was like, this is my childhood hero, and he's like grotesque looking. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I want to say my favorite episode. Oh, God, there's so many. And I know that there was a couple that I would just love watching. But um, I'm going to say the first one that I think of in terms of favorites. And I think that one is... God, this is really hard. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. See, I got to start thinking when you're speaking. Because when <laughs> I just listen to you talk, I don't think at all. Um. <laughs> Ooh, uh wait i used not to have the jellyfish a, one the jellyfish one is really good but it's not my favorite it might be um the atlantis episode oh i loved the atlantis episode it, where they found the bubble that never popped and then they yeah. like it popped or something like they figured they didn't <laughs> need the bubble that never pops and then spongebob walks in the room yeah not um, anymore i think that was I, I always really liked watching that episode i don't know why um but yeah i think that might be it the atlantis episode yeah um yeah so moving on moving what's a, on what's another tv show that we grew up with 
Um, next on my list, I have uh, of the ones that like we have both watched um, is iCarly. Oh. And I can I tell you my favorite episode because I know my favorite episode. Yes. Um. So I always cried when I watched this episode, and I think it's because I projected me and you onto Carly and Sam. And of course, I was always Carly. <laughs> um, but I think Whoa, what was that edgy? Sense for me. Um, but so my favorite my favorite episode ever is the one Christmas episode where um, Carly like takes for granted her relationship with her um, with her brother and like her friends and stuff, and so she like accidentally wishes that she never existed. And so, like, nobody, like, knows, like, Sam's in jail. <laughs> and, um, like, the one part that always got me, it always made me cry, is when Spencer doesn't recognize her. And that just, like, hit me. And I was, like, I th- it's it's probably because I projected myself on her. And I was, like, oh, my gosh, if this happened to me, I'd, I'd be so sad. And so, like, there's one scene where she's, like, I want my life back, you know? And like yeah. a really dramatic scene. Can we just talk about how that exact like concept has been used in so many TV shows? The main character takes something for granted, wishes that they didn't do it, and with like holiday magic or just like if they're holding a magic eight ball or something, they're holding the but something, and all of a sudden, overdone. this was before that, it was overdone. That was the plot of Santa Claus Three. Let me tell you. Well, not the whole plot, but. The main I'm not plot. saying it hadn't been done. I'm saying this was before it was overdone. No, I, I, I understand. And I do think that's a good episode. I do remember like watching uh, Spencer be like, I don't know who you are. And seeing Carly and I was really sad watching it because I was like, that that's awful. <laughs> yeah. Um, But um, my honestly, I don't think I have a least favorite episode of I Carly. Uh. Actually, I have a least favorite um, plot point, which is that Sam's script. I don't know they, that they outwardly said this, but as I got older, I realized what this meant. Um, that Sam scratches her ass and then smells her hand afterwards. I don't like that. Don't. <laughs> Why did they add that? <laughs> the fucking, mm-hmm. I'm not going to say his name, but that fucking guy. Mostly because I don't remember it. <laughs> Dan Schneider. Yeah, weird fucking guy. Anyways, yeah. um, but my favorite episode is honestly, like, even though I was a very, like, I loved Sam and Freddy. I was a Sam, Sam and Freddy stan. Those were my, Seti. that was my favorite. Seti, sorry. <laughs> I was um, pro Seti too. But I do actually really like that episode where, uh, Freddie gets hit by like a bus or something. I don't remember. I don't remember what happens. No, he, he steps in front of a bus. He yeah, jumps he in gets... front of the way so it doesn't hit Carly. And then Carly's like, "Oh my god!" And she goes goes to him and she's like, "I'm so sorry." And his mom's like mad at her, um, <laughs> which is not her fault. Um, and then she leaves the room and then they kiss. And then uh, Freddie's mom comes in and she's like, "Get out of here." <laughs> Farted. <laughs> and there's and you can hear the little woo woos in the background. Yeah, but it's a very like. Also, I think there was another plot point in that like scene where she had to help him get into the shower, and then there was a moment where like he fell down, so she had to go and help him. That was I a really. That. Why did Dan Schneider write the way he did? <laughs> I, I would say it that. needs to be studied, but I don't want to study it. <laughs> Um, anyways but i did like that episode those are good episodes what about the ones where um (gasps) wait the one where (laughs) uh where sam has to get like her wisdom teeth taken out oh and she tells carly that she kissed freddie yeah and then it's like really awkward (laughs) um i remember audibly gasping and like looking at my screen like when she said that i was like i can't believe she just admitted that <laughs> Maybe um, I just handle my drugs better than Sam. I just well, the thing is, is that's not realistic. I'm sorry, I had my wisdom teeth out. I would know. Yeah, um, I, I was, I was loopy. 
I know what I knew what I was saying. I was like doing silly stuff, but I was just being a little silly. I wasn't like saying like to my mom, I was like, Mother, I've done lines of coke. <laughs> I wasn't like, admitting my like you know, I wasn't saying anything I regretted. I just I was just a little funky. I was just like Yeah, I, just, I used to be because of that episode, that used to be my biggest fear is like having to get my wisdom teeth taken out and then saying like a really big secret. That which I didn't have any big secrets or any secrets at all at the time, but I was really nervous that I was gonna have like a secret boyfriend or something in the future. Um, and then I would like admit it to my mom, and I used to be terrified of that. Um, it's such like the irrational fear. <laughs> see, for me, for me, when I'm on morphine, I don't, I don't know what those other people are do, doing. I just sleep. I sleep so well. <laughs> I literally, uh, I remember being in the hospital because I was like in pain. It was when I came back from, you know, when I went to the sleepover with you and then I woke up with a ovarian cyst, but I didn't know it yet. Um, so I went to the hospital. Um, the effects of hanging out with Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, but um, they, they put me on some like painkiller. I assume it was morphine, but it could have been something else. And it was so loud. Like they were overcrowded. There were like people in the hallway on like gurneys and there were like crazy people making noise and i slept so good i slept like it, there was no noise at all and my mom every time i woke up she would be like i don't know how you're sleeping <laughs> <laughs> and i was like i'm yeah. on some good drugs and she was like you were not on that many drugs at all. <laughs> um i was gonna say um another one of my favorite episodes of iCarly is um <clears throat> you know that episode where they're dressed up in purple and um they're with those two other guys who are also dressed up in purple <laughs> and um the two other guys were like best friends and they were having a best friend fight and then also carly and S sam were having a best friend fight and then somehow they went out onto a um i don't know where we got from point a to point b but somehow they went out onto a window cleaner thing and the window cleaner thing was like, like falling or something. Yeah. And they had to like pull each other up and then their friendship was renewed because they had to help each other. No, I remember that. That was terrifying to watch. That was so scary. I remember Anyways, being like, I this would happen to me. <laughs> my, um, my least favorite episode of iCarly is that um i got i forget what it is but they got kidnapped and uh what was what was her name like nora or something they got kidnapped and sam used a chicken bone to pick the lock which was successful <laughs> why was it successful <laughs> anyways um, yeah but what, what about you um, I really don't know if I have a least favorite episode of iCarly. Um, I think there's too many good episodes of iCarly, which, you know, I hate to say that about that man's writing, but like there are good episodes. He was just a weird fucking guy. Yeah. <laughs> there were other writers. So, um, anyways, but shall we move on? Yes. My next one on the list is victorious which actually goes really well with iCarly because they did an episode together where uh tori this was my favorite episode by the way um tori and carly both have the same boyfriend um who's pretending like that like he you know isn't dating them and then they catch him in the act on That's carly's so show good. it's so good it's the only oh good God. episode of victorious i'm sorry <laughs> There's no, I beg to differ. I loved some episodes of Victorious. I used to love that show. I think I, I mean, liked all that of show us more than I Carly for a while. Yeah. Kesha performed in that days. show. Who? Oh, Kesha. Kesha. There was I an didn't hear you. Kesha in it. Um, one of my, I, I liked Victorious a lot. I don't know why I liked it so much. Um, but you got to admit, and we can, I think we can all agree, the best episode of Victorious is where they have the karaoke. And not only, not only do um, Jade and Kat sing, but Tori also sings. And 
Okay, I don't get why everybody hates on her voice. I think she has a good voice. Do I think she has a better voice than Jade and Kat? No, I don't. But I still think she's good. Um, yeah. <laughs> she was a, She was not a good character. I'll give her that. <laughs> but she had a good voice. <laughs> um, but I just... I loved that episode. Um, what did she sing in that? It was like... Um, um, freak the freak out. That's what it is. I memorized that song. You know what? That was actually playing in my head while I was thinking about it, but I was like, no, it's not that song. I don't know why. Um, but you know what else? What other episode of Victorious I really like now that I think about it? Other than that episode um, is I really like the episode where they go to this like little <laughs> sushi place um, and Take it like in. Jade and Tori. Yeah. And then they get hit by the those guys like that are really creepy um because mm-hmm. i don't i'm pretty sure that they're written to be like adults so this is weird anyways um and then they then they get up on the stage and they sing take a hint and i don't think and they don't get it until like jade gets in their face and is like i hate you <laughs> yeah. yeah first they're like wow this song's so good huh? yeah they're like <laughs> yeah dance like that and then they're like oh you don't like me <laughs> <laughs> no that is that is like one of the only episodes where jade and tori get along so it's really good i like that episode yeah. i but i still gotta say the karaoke episode is still my favorite um my she's not like other girls is, she no. has glasses no until she and doesn't a, and a funky nose but you know the and whole reason she does that, right so that they they'll think that she's um ugly and she doesn't have a good voice even though she literally already has a good voice but then she's like look at this i'm hot i am <laughs> hot honestly, and then she wins the thing honestly Gigi, as a child that made me question my sexuality that scene <laughs> no it was like a good it like for for children <laughs> um no but like, like as oh, a oh shoot she's hot <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like it's a it's a good scene it's very okay anyways (laughs) anyway (laughs) um my least favorite episode of victorious is um when rex dies that is absolutely (laughs) ridiculous i hate that episode just let the dude die he he dies because he got stuck in like a like a huge machine that made tornadoes um you got a tornado machine (laughs) You gotta watch the episode for context. But, um, he gets stuck in a tornado machine. I'm sorry. And then he... I remembered what you were talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he, like, for some reason, they give him a pulse. Um... (laughs) And then they make him flatlines. And they're like, let's make him die. That way Robbie gets over it. But they forget that Robbie was neurodivergent. And that he needed Rex, um, so the so Tori being being the nicest woman ever goes back, um, puts the little beepy back on so he has a pulse again, and then she's like, "Robbie, Robbie, I support neurodivergence." <laughs> the actual dialogue in that episode—that's the actual dialogue. He's like, "Go to your little pal." <laughs> You know what? I never thought about that before. Robbie is d- neurodivergent. He and nobody <laughs> gets it. it. He's like, this is my one security blanket, and everybody makes fun of me for it. <laughs> yeah. Um. Actually, just let the guy say what he wants to say, in, even if it's really at, creepy. Because Ro- the Rex look was at Roborazzi. Look at Roborazzi. <laughs> I mean, if that yeah. doesn't say neurodivergence, I don't know what does. <laughs> Anyway. He was basically picking on other people to get attention. <laughs> Which, um, I mean, is a normal thing to do, but... Yeah. Um, anyway, I think my least favorite episode um, is... Like, I, th- I think that this episode is stupid. Like, I don't think that it's a bad episode. I think the concept is stupid. Um, and it's an episode where they all have to stay in character 100% of the time. And... Um, Psychowitz so makes 
Yeah, and Psychowitz makes um, Jade become, like, a really nice southern police officer. And Jade literally, like, burns the fuck out of her hand. And she still stays in character. And then she walks away. And then she screams. And then he's like, she's out of character. Like, shut up. She might have to go to the hospital. That was a bad burn. (laughs) Or how about the fact that he made Andre a pregnant marathon runner? Yeah. That cringed me out. That cringed me oh, out no. so much. Um, I got the I got Tori and Jade mixed up. Tori was the police officer. Uh, Jade yeah. was just a nice Southern girl. Yeah, Tori was like Tori was like a officer. she was like a New Yorker. She was like an and angry she police chewed officer. with her mouth open. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that because she was eating. Um, but yeah, I who don't was Robbie? The, I don't remember what Robbie was. He was, a, he was a stand-up comedian. So he wasn't playing a character. <laughs> well, he wasn't funny. I mean, well, he was I a mean, stand-up like, comedian who like couldn't stop making jokes or something like that. Oh, okay. Also, th- that is a weird exercise to do. When we did exercises like that in drama class, I wouldn't go over to my teacher's house. That's like weird. They're children. Yeah. They're Why were they in Psychowitz's house? Why? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. It's like um, weird role playing stuff going on there. Hey, ki- hey, kids! Um, I need your parents' permission to sign off on a field trip to my house where you're gonna role play for me. Um, <laughs> I don't know why their parents signed off on that. <laughs> what was Cat in that episode? I don't remember. I also don't remember what Beck was. I'll have to look it up afterward. Okay, moving yeah. on. Um, um, can I mention one before you go any further? Um, yeah, because I think I'm you... off of all the ones that we've seen. Those were all well, Nickelodeon, like... right? Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, moving on to Disney Channel? I mean, sure, I have more Nickelodeon ones. I just You just haven't seen them. Well, do you want to go through all the Nickelodeon ones and then do the Disney ones? I don't know what is and what isn't Disney at this point. <laughs> well, which ones do you have on there? Um, the next one I have is Zoe 101, which is a Nickelodeon. I never watched that. I only, it was like an older show, because I think it was like 2000s. So I was like, I was at the end of it, like the series ending when I started watching it and I still didn't understand it. But the only reason I put it on the list was because I did watch it and also because um, they filmed that at Pepperdine University and my mom used to work there and she used to tell me that. She used to be like, I've been there. And I used to be like, you've been to Zoe 101? And she was like, that's not what it's called. (laughs) It makes you want to watch it more. Yeah. And that's the only reason I watched it for a little bit but then i think i only watched it for like a month or something i watched reruns well do you remember your favorite episode um i don't know they did basically the same thing every episode where (laughs) there was every episode there was a will they won't they uh relationship and every episode there was one troublemaker at the school so that's all I remember about it. <laughs> um, all of the okay. episodes were the same. I remember the pool table. They had a pool table. Do you want to move on then? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, th- I thought you. <laughs> um. I don't know. You do them all. I will probably have the same ones. Okay. Did, Did you, you remember, remember animated shows? I guess you said SpongeBob. Yeah, I have. I'm about to say one. Did you ever watch Back Backyard Again? Of course I did. Um, so yeah, the Backyard Again. I do not have uh, any favorite or least favorite episodes. Cannot remember a single episode of that show, but I know I watched every episode. Yeah, yeah, me too. It was one of those I shows. I don't remember at all. Did you ever watch Wow Wow Webzy? No. <sighs> banger of a show banger of a show i remember those episodes so well i went back and i watched them a couple years ago (laughs) um yeah that show kind of raised me anyways 
Do you have any more to say about that? Or <laughs> no, um, I do. They introduced a new character halfway through the episode. And her name, or halfway through the season, and her name was Daisy. And I remember that because I liked her a lot. And I thought she was like really cool. Um, and also, Wubsy's a dude. Who would have known? Who would have known? Probably, yeah. probably Wubsy himself. But who would have yeah. known? <laughs> I think actually, um, Wubsy is non-binary. I think that fits them more. Them, they, them pronouns. Anyways, they then them pronoun list? user. Um, yeah. The next thing I have on the r- list, I don't know if you ever watched the show, but I watched Max and Ruby all the time. Yes, I watched Max and Ruby. Oh yeah, I love I that loved show. That show. There was there was no episode that didn't feel the same to me, but that's what I loved about it. It felt the exact same every episode. You know. I loved they I think they had like an episode where it was like rainy and I think that that's what made me like the like the rain was because when I was watching Max of Ruby it rained. Mhm. But um yeah, good memories watching that show. Um the son the Max, he was a mute. So um that was that's kind of cool like nice representation there. Yeah. Or maybe they just didn't want to pay the actor but you know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah well fine. whatever representation is representation yeah very well, trauma. nice yeah trauma um the next thing i have is a lazy town wait the first time we ever hung out we went up <laughs> into your room more into your room this is all my memories it's just selective memories um we went up into your room and you had like this chest of like clothes and like random items in it and you pull out stephanie's wig and her outfit and i was like oh my god this is the greatest thing i've ever seen if we Um, had been friends for long enough when i showed you that i bet that i would have been like i was actually playing stephanie in the first episode i would have totally said said that. that you honestly probably said that you probably said yeah this is from the show yeah I don't I don't know that I would have been like, oh, I can act because then you would have called me on it. I feel like I probably would have been like, yeah, my mom got this for me. It's from the actual show, you know, so that you couldn't prove me wrong. But you definitely know that I was lying. <laughs> um, anyways, that was a good, I, good show. An- another show I do not. I do not <laughs> know. The show was any good. Of the better. Yeah. Um, editing not not great i could do better but it's okay that's the charm of it um, get out get those people cap cut moving yeah. <laughs> moving on um yeah. to one that you haven't seen uh wizards of waverly place um actually i gotta correct you on that I, like a good friend i am i tried to get into it too and so i watched like the first few episodes and i forgot i was watching it so i never picked it back up yeah well you know, it's a... You can leave in that last bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways. So, Wizards of I knew they, Place there was, was they like favorite. made a sandwich. They made the sandwich. That's because they, they... They're a sandwich place, right? Yeah, they're a sandwich shop. They do that every episode. <laughs> and um, Selena Gomez be has a quirky friend. Next, Yeah, Harper. Next time you're yeah. going to be like... They also do magic in one of the episodes, and I'm gonna yeah. be- <laughs> but they can't do magic unless they have the wand. Sometimes that's actually a really big weird like thing is that sometimes they can do hand magic and sometimes they can't. It's always convenience because in the movie they can do hand magic. Um, in some of the episodes they can do hand magic, but then when it's convenient to the plot that they broke their wand or they're missing their wand, they can't do hand magic. <laughs> Um, so it I don't, reminds I don't me know. of one episode of the Clone Wars where um, Anakin loses his lightsaber, so he pretends he can't do anything. And I'm like, dude, just use the. <laughs> 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 He's like, I can't do anything without my lightsaber. And I'm like, dude, dude forgot you the can force. Move objects. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, basically, Wizards of Waverly Place and Star Wars are the same. Yeah, kind of. Um, They both have people in it that um, are not great people. (laughs) They're not normal people either. Well, I meant like the actors. But 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but I, I do. I, I first off, they're <laughs> they're making a sequel. Don't like it. Doesn't make any sense. I ran it about it on my private Twitter. I'm not gonna put it here, but doesn't make any sense. Um, but my favorite episode of Wizards of Waverly Place is actually two episodes. <laughs> Um, but, uh, it's a two-barter. Well, not really, not directly, but it has a little to be continued and it goes, Ooh, at the end of the, you know, how Disney (laughs) does that. (laughs) What is it? Um, um, but it's an episode where they, they go to, I don't remember what the title is called, but they, uh, they find out that, no, they, okay, so. Justin, her brother, is had been looking for his um, vampire girlfriend because she was taken from him. So um, they um, find out that Alex's boyfriend is a werewolf in this episode, too. So he's like, if you have her scent, I can sniff her out for you. <laughs> Except in a British accent, because the werewolf is British. Don't know why. Did you um, Twilight before Twilight? Or after? <laughs> I think after this is like this is like the third season so I think so I think it's after um but he's like I can sniff her for you and then he's like okay here you go and he treats him like a dog and that's really funny um anyways but basically um I'm gonna describe the whole episode so I'm gonna try to break it down into little points if I you know okay so they find her and then she recognizes Alex's boyfriend because they used to date hundreds of years ago because they're both <laughs> like immortal. Um, and then Alex, you know, was like, whoa, uh, that's interesting. Trying to be cool about it. Um, and then werewolves, I guess, have this really bad impulse control. So he says that he never stopped loving her. Um, and so she she had given gotten a necklace from him that apparently was a magic necklace and it lights up when she loves somebody. Um, she rips it off and she throws it and she says, I never want to see you again. And then she goes home. And that's like the uh, end of that episode. And then the second episode is just about her being sad. <laughs> and then also um, her boyfriend Mason coming back and being like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Um, and they have like a little a little fight. And I don't, I can't describe why it would take the whole episode to describe why. (laughs) So they have a little fight and then it ends with not only, um, not only Mace and her boyfriend becoming a full wolf because of something that happened in the fight, but also, um, Justin's girlfriend, um, losing her vampire powers and becoming extremely old looking. Which both of those things are resolved in the end, so I don't know why. <laughs> but it's a it's an extremely depressing episode, but it was my favorite even when I watched it. Because of the drama. The so, drama. Oh yeah, the drama. So those were my favorite episodes. My least favorite episode is, um, I don't know, the second one. <laughs> I don't know. They had a lot of weird episodes, but I liked them all. I just, the, some of them had weird plot points. That's that's it. I didn't have a least yeah, favorite good. episode. Yeah, that's good. Um, yeah. Anyways. Did you did you ever watch Danny Phantom? I don't think I ever did. Um, you speak great, on it. Great show. I will speak on it. Um, I actually. This was kind of like partly childhood, partly not, because I kind of like. I got into it in my teenager years for some I reason. I was there for 2019, Olivia. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. I, I remember just, the edit. The edit. Um, <laughs> but I just, I was getting into, I got into it really hard, like right before COVID hit. And um, I just like, I think I just like, I had like this weird thing going where I liked men who had secret identities um yeah has anything um, changed um well (laughs) i like men of age now (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> but um yeah i was really into danny phantom i my my least favorite episode was um i had a couple there was like a couple episodes i would just skip <laughs> because I <didn't> <laughs> um that's I, why, that's how you know you like a series though is when you have episodes you're like no nah, i've seen this enough times i don't like this episode <laughs> Yeah, there was a couple. I there's I think one of the first ones. There's like one. Okay, so he had his two friends, right? And one of them was like a vegetarian, and so she, like, there was like this ghost. It was always him make battling ghosts, and um, it was a, it was a meat ghost, not, like not phantoms. He the, no, he's the phantom. <laughs> um, but no. <laughs> but it was like a meat ghost and um she would like lady gaga is that you no she would like try to force sam to eat meat and then she was like no i don't want to you know and then uh danny phantom had to fight her and i was like this is a stupid episode (laughs) (laughs) no that sounds like a great episode that's an incredible (laughs) plot but I think my favorite episode is actually the last one because it's really emotional. It's basically like an asteroid's gonna hit the hit the Earth, and um, it's uh, he's everybody's like, oh no, we're gonna die because this asteroid's gonna hit the Earth and it's like gonna kill us, (laughs) and so um, basically they're like. He has a ghost enemy who is also half human, half ghost. And so he he goes and he's like, I'm just going to turn it intangible. And so he goes out there. He, he like gets all like the United Nations to sign like a big, huge Mungo check to him. make, And also they make him president of everything. And he is like, OK, I'm going to go out and make this asteroid intangible. And so he goes out there. But it's made of anti-ghost material, so we can't do it. So everybody's like, oh no, all hope's lost. And so and so um Danny, being the bright boy he is, um, he gets depressed and so he turns himself back fully human. This is a 40 minute episode, by the way. Um <laughs> he gets depressed and so he turns himself back human. He manages to like recreate his accident or whatever. And then um he like he's like walking around he's like all depressed and stuff because the girls don't like him anymore (laughs) and um then he hears that about the earth and he's like yo we could just change we could just make the um earth itself intangible and so he gets he gets his long story short he gets his ghost powers back gets all the ghosts that he fought throughout the entire series out to help him and they all help him turn the earth intangible so that the asteroid goes through it. It's really good. You know what? You know what's funny? You mentioned two plot points. One one that happened in Wizards of Waverly Place and one that happened in Doctor Who. They turned the- they turned the earth intangible <laughs> <laughs> No. No. Um there was an asteroid in Wizards of Waverly Place that was going to hit their town. And they had to they they had to size themselves down and go into a little uh a toy submarine or spaceship or something. Um and then they sized it up and they went, woo. Um and then they had to destroy the meteor or asteroid or whatever. And also for some reason Justin got his foot stuck on something so that they were, you know, counting down the clock until the bomb exploded it. Um even though there was nothing that his foot was stuck. He was not stuck. I don't, the man was not stuck. <laughs> the man was not stuck at all. Anyways, and the second one is that um, the doctor is acting president of the Earth. So when they need him, Wait, he which is the one? president of the Earth. All of them. They have literally pictures of all of his faces and like all of his companions. It's really creepy. No, they should have like a picture of like um But it happened for the twelfth like, doctor. So So uh I they I should would get, vote like, for him a too. Picture where like you know where like you turn it and it like shifts You should turn it and it shifts all their different faces. Yeah. I'm sure that that exists somewhere actually. <laughs> <laughs> Some artist has probably made that. Anyways, mo- move on. Move on. We've we've been lodging. Uh, I 
I have a few more, so I think I will I will mention the ones that I'm pretty sure you've seen. Uh, Phineas and Ferb. Yeah, I've seen some of that. I liked it. I, I don't liked remember the one. I liked the one where they were in summer. Why were they permanently in summer? <laughs> there was a hundred four days of summer vacation all year long. <laughs> year is 104 days, Gigi. <laughs> I don't know oh, if you what was that weird thing that he had going with that girl. Um, but anyways, that's besides <laughs> the point. Um my favorite plot point was Doofenshmirtz and um, Perry the Platypus. That was the best part of the show. I know that was <laughs> everything like, else that was, was always, interesting. That was almost always the subplot, but it was always the plot plot for me. It was the like only I told time you that Gigi, I ever paid attention. I have a thing for men with secret identities. <laughs> Shut up! No, but my favorite <laughs> joke in the show is um, a platypus. Perry the Platypus. <laughs> <laughs> Only when he puts his hat on, though. You remember um, that episode where like Doofus Schwartz finds out that Perry the platypus is indeed a, just a platypus without his hat on? Um, I I could not break down that show episode by episode because I didn't watch it with that much intent. It was usually on, and I would like sit down and watch it, and then my mom would call me in the other room. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. There was an episode where they went to the mall or something. I remember that. Um, <laughs> but moving on to other episodes, that I don't, I don't, to other uh, shows where I don't really remember the episodes. Uh, Fairly Odd Parents. Oh, I I remember Fairly Odd Parents episodes. We I, recently um, watched it together. Technically, my least favorite episode. I'll tell you right now, and it was actually on those set. Of, <laughs> um, episodes that we had um it's the one where he tries to bring his hamster back to life and it's like a zombie <laughs> hamster and that traumatized me because i mean it traumatizes me now because i have a i have a dead hamster <laughs> that sits in my backyard still? oh <laughs> well yeah he's still dead um but no but i meant you still have it in your possession back. but um I I don't like that episode. I mean, I didn't like it at the time. It just like rubbed me wrong. But um cuz like the thing was that he neglected his hamster and it died because he neglected it. And so I and then he tried to raise it from the dead and then it was like <laughs> weird and it's like a zombie. <laughs> I didn't like that episode. If I had a if I had a nickel for every time that I watched a kids show where they tried to raise something from a from the dead, I would have two nickels. Cause they that's the first episode of the series of uh, my babysitter's a vampire. It goes poorly, as you could imagine. Anyways, <laughs> I didn't put that on here, but it, I I don't want to talk about it. It's <laughs> I don't oh, I don't um, I don't need to go down that hole again. <laughs> Well, my favorite episode of the Fairly Odd Parents is um, the episode when they. There's lots of weird episodes, man. I think like ninety percent of the show is weird episodes. Um, but I one of my favorite episodes was when um, he goes like into like his dad's memory or oh, no 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 no. He goes inside um, Wanda and Cosmo's fishbowl, and it's like a mansion in there. It's so cool. <laughs> yeah. That's my favorite episode. Okay, moving on. That is on. a good episode. Moving on. Um, let's see. What else have you watched on this list? Um, did you ever watch uh, Curious George? <laughs> Curious George. Of course I watched Curious George. Could I tell you anything about it? No. Yeah, so there was this episode where they were in a house and then they were outside the house and then they were back in the house. Nice. What Which is weird Caillou? because they live in an apartment. You oh, watched Caillou? Caillou is not on this list. Yeah, I watched oh, it. Caillou. I don't know. Caillou. Caillou. Did they was ever... he, was he on? Did he have alopecia or cancer? I don't think he had either. I think he was supposed to be a two year old that looked like an 11 year old. <laughs> I don't know what that man's age Dude, he was. He did have eyebrows. He did have eyebrows. Maybe he just, like, that was before he had hair. But he had a Can't younger sister. On. Was his sister yeah. a newborn? I don't remember. Who walked? 
didn't his parents have hair? It's not like they couldn't just draw him hair. So why didn't they not give him tired. hair? No, one I they I were used like, to play you know this... what? I designed all of the side characters' hair. I'm done. I'm not gonna do any for the main character. He doesn't matter. <laughs> I um I remember there was like this game online that I would play on like my grandparents' computer that you could customize their house. That was fun. Yeah. Good good game, sounds like. Um let's see. You ever watched Drake and Josh? Uh, selective, yeah. I, um, I remember, um, shoot, what is his name? He plays Spencer and iCarly. Jerry Trainer, Jerry Trainer. Yeah. um, he worked my job in that show. Oh, yeah. Well, I remember job. that. Honestly, I kind of forgot that he was in that show, but he was like a recurring character. Not a main character, but a recurring character. And he was scary. I forgot how often they went to the movie theater. Why did they do that? <laughs> they, went to, <laughs> they went to the movie theater every other episode. What the fuck? Honestly, Real Chris, good would movies out. Chris would hire him. Yeah. Anyways. Um, but my favorite episode of Drake and Josh uh, is everybody's favorite episode, I think. Which is, if you've seen it, the Treehouse episode. Where they, <laughs> they make the Treehouse. <laughs> And they get stuck in the treehouse. Which Amazing. I don't know. Realistically, how do Where's they do the that? <laughs> how did they build themselves? I outlined in? it. No, I outlined it with magic marker. <laughs> Where's the handle? I'm going to get it now. Oh. <laughs> Is that the same episode where he goes, um, uh, are you calling me a liar? Well, I ain't calling you a truther. Or is that a different episode? I don't think so. I think that's a different episode. But that is that's a good one of my line. favorite lines on the show. Yeah. <laughs> are you calling me a liar? Well, I ain't calling you a truther. <laughs> <laughs> Josh had like the craziest comebacks. <laughs> Wait, Drake was always just that? trying to get into trouble, and Josh was literally just chilling. I don't remember what the um, I don't remember what the um original line was, but I saved this meme on my phone in like 2020, um, and it was like his dialogue, like Josh's dialogue, and it had some words cut out, but it was like uh, Poseidon be like, and then it was like I can't control, I can control the fish, um, so <laughs> I don't know what he was saying there, but but the way that he he looked like this, he was like. Like, like he looked like he was trying to say, hey, I can't control the way that fish work or something like that. And the way yeah, that he must have Yeah, I know what you're talking it, about, yeah. It must have been a comeback. And that I would have been a crazy it. comeback. I can't control the fish, Olivia. <laughs> Anyways. Um, I don't have a least favorite episode or a favorite one, but yeah. Yeah. Um, Dora the Explorer. Um, I didn't watch Dora the Explorer that much, um, as much as the average kid. I did have- You are um, not bilingual. No, I'm not. Um, but you did do a lingo, so it doesn't matter. Um- I do a lingo. But, um, I do have a, um, a VHS. I don't know if I still have it, but, um, my aunt got it for me, and it was basically, uh, Dora the Explorer saying Olivia- um, she would be like, hey, Olivia, can you help me find this? And I would be like, yes, I can, Dora. <laughs> um, but basically, she said my name in it, and it was like a thing. And apparently, like, you can buy those for anyone. Well, at the time, <laughs> I was like, oh. How stupid must that bitch be? He, she'd be like, hey, can you see my backpack? And I'd be like, yeah, it's on your back. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. <laughs> no. Um the I episode have. was always the same. It would always be like, let's go on an adventure to find something. Oh, map, can you tell us where we're going? Oh, yes, you're going to go on the windy bridge. Then you're going to go on the rocky road. Then you're going to go in the wet river. And then uh, you go and then Boots is there, you know, doing what Boots does, wearing boots. And then, oh, we need something. Backpack, do you have what we need? Yeah, sure, I have what you need. Oh, no, Swiper's going to swipe it. Oh no, and swiper, no swiping, swiper, no swiping, swiper, no swiping. We always said it three times. And then, um, 
But you would get there eventually, and the problem would always be solved. There was no conflict yeah. ever. The closest we got was Swiper, and we asked him nicely to leave, and he did. You ever, you ever see the trailer for the the movie that they made about Dora the Explorer? No, I've seen. Um, I remember when it was my, out. In my Cinema Sins phase, they did a Cinema Sins of it, so I've technically seen it. Um, but I would be interested to see it more because she like does fourth wall breaks and everybody around her is like, who the fuck is she talking to? <laughs> <laughs> and I yeah, feel like that would be it. kind of my thing. Um, but anyways, moving on. I, I have two more. Um, I'll, I'll start with the one that I think you have seen maybe a couple episodes of, which is Sweet Life of Zack and Cody or Sweet Life on Deck because they're the same people it's just two the different same thing, just different ages yeah yeah um, did i one watch was the better. show <laughs> did yeah. i watch the show continuously no i did not could i tell you inside jokes of the show because it was so popular yes i could yeah no running in my lobby <laughs> <laughs> it was so popular everybody was making jokes and i had no idea what they meant but i was like olivia would you like am or fum? <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm pretty turn much back. Let's turn on the radio. <laughs> Would you like am or fum? <laughs> so basically, Anyways, these are all just show. Mr. Mos Mr. Mosby. I don't remember what his name is. The all his yeah, all Mosby, his line, yeah. all his um, lines. Later in life, actually, when I was a teenager and I was watching Riverdale, I was attracted to Cole Sprouse. So, um, we don't have to unpack that. Um, <laughs> moving on, <laughs> I didn't yeah. have a favorite. Or I know a we place only place. have audio listeners, but if you guys could have just seen Gigi's, <laughs> that is the biggest eye roll I've ever seen her do. <laughs> she moved her whole body, <laughs> I was uncomfortable. <laughs> 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 anyways moving on moving on um, last show. the last the last one that i have um we can talk more about any other shows that you have to talk about i have those. a couple um, mine too i my last one is hannah montana which i don't think that you've I was seen a hannah montana hater i never yeah. watched it i was a hater not even one episode not even one not, scene i mean i'm sure i watched an episode or two but like I didn't pay attention to it. I was a hater. I was like, I don't watch Hannah Montana. I'm not like a reader girl. You know what my favorite episode was? Just for the meme. My favorite episode is the episode where they decide to uh, leave to a big mansion on a ranch um, because they move out of their house. And you've definitely seen that on Twitter of her like walking out of her house and like kissing her hand and waving like this. Yes, and there's I like dramatic that. music. And it's it's the best episode because it's it, as a kid it's sad, but as an adult you're like, oh my god, what the hell is this show? <laughs> no, because it's so funny because I never watched the shows that like got the famous artists out of them. Like the only thing I watched was Victorious, <laughs> and that yeah. got like, Ariana Grande out of it. But Miley Cyrus, but she wasn't the main character. Was. Yeah, yeah, she wasn't even the main character. Um. <laughs> But yeah, well, I say my cat. Hannah Montana. Close. What's your least favorite episode of Hannah Montana? Um, my least favorite episode. My least favorite episode is actually one that used to be my favorite. Um, because there's this episode where she's choosing between two guys. One is a guy that she's currently dating, and the other is a guy that she wants to date. Which it feels like this is a weird time to be choosing between these two people, but it's because like her boyfriend sees her flirting with him because he's at her um you know like he's part of her like crew as hannah montana um and her boyfriend knows that she's also miley but her new crew member doesn't <laughs> um but he finds out later um and she she's like mom because her mom's dead so she's like mom <laughs> who do i choose and she like uh, i don't we don't we don't have time to unpack how ghost mechanics work in this universe because somehow they do but her mother's ghost quote unquote it suddenly picks up a page 
because she has two faces printed out earlier in the episode and it picks up a page and it drops it into her lap outside like from her room to her lap outside um and it's um the crew members like uh face and she doesn't choose him she chooses the uh, her boyfriend and you know what happens he cheats on her not in this episode but like in like a season later so does she go to the crew member yeah she ends up with him and it makes me angry because i'm like he was a good guy and you know what and you know what he found out that she was hannah montana like way before they met the second time and then she was like i have to admit something to you because i really like you i'm hannah montana and he's like i know (laughs) she's like why didn't you tell him tell me or tell anybody he's like i don't want to hurt you like that even though she literally broke his heart (laughs) yeah well he's a keeper then um yeah also i guess his dad was like that they also did like a in that episode where they like get back together she finds out that he has like a dad overseas or something so she does a she does a little uh a little performance for the troops (laughs) while while doing like a montage of them with their kids it it would be nice if it was like an actual performance but since it's for a tv show i think it's really fucking weird (laughs) (laughs) um anyways (laughs) um <laughs> so that's hannah montana for you <laughs> so um i, what I wanted to discuss what i wanted to yeah. discuss is um shake it up i forgot about that show i don't get why you would it literally what a has, show. It, it was like my favorite show for a long time like i think that me and alexander watched that show so many times like we just rewatched it um but yeah, I'd love to shake it up. My favorite episode is um it's it's the one where um it's I think it's the last one actually. Or no, is it the one where they I liked the episodes where they went to Tokyo, but I think that my favorite episode was um when it's the last episode and I almost called her Bella, but um that's her real name. <laughs> but CC forgets Rocky. She like loses her memory, forgets oh, who yeah. Rocky is. And so like they're and they're like about to do like their last show, like their last dance of Shake It Up ever. And they're like, well, if CC doesn't remember, then she can't do it. And then Rocky's like, but I can't dance without her, you know? And um so uh you know, it's very emotional and dramatic. But the whole episode goes by and she finally like gets her memory at the end and they do the dance together and it's very emotional especially since the and i like remember the song they do so well but it's very emotional and it always made me upset and it always made me sad (laughs) yeah um that that's a good episode i honestly don't remember watching that episode i don't know if i ever finished shake it up i think i stopped watching before the series ended um maybe i I should go back and watch it um but i do have a a favorite episode um i don't have a least favorite but i do have a favorite and it's the episode where they go to olive garden and uh they can't pay for their food so they get the like giant item which is like a 60 pound steak and i don't remember what cc's excuse for not eating the steak was herself and I don't remember what Zendaya's character name is. Rocky. Rocky. Um, and Rocky's like, well, I'm a vegetarian. I can't eat that. And Cece was like, no, you have to. Um, so Rocky eats this like 60 pound steak. <laughs> and it's like, it's, I don't know why. It's like the most awful thing I've ever seen somebody do to their best friend. But I think it's so funny. No, it was a meatball. It wasn't a steak. It was, it a, was meatball. a meatball. He was like, remember. cause they went to an Italian restaurant, the and Olive they got Garden. debit cards, and they like their debit card, their debit cards got declined. Yeah, they didn't know. What makes to you do. makes you think. Then maybe, their dates maybe. <laughs> yeah, they were like, we got free money. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's a silly episode. My least favorite episode, um is any of them including the little boy i hated him <laughs> the little boy yes Cece's i think little i vaguely re- 
I think he I bothered vaguely me. remember him. He was an ugly little kid. He had like a faux hawk going. Weren't ugly there kid. these like weren't there these like twins that were also dancers that honestly kind of seemed like they were dating? They were they were like uh, foreign. Remember? Yeah, I don't yeah, like I them. them. <laughs> Gunter, Gunter and uh, someone else. I forget her name. Gunter and something. <laughs> Um, weren't exotic they names. No, they were. They were. Siblings. No, they were like they were twins, dating but they acted siblings. like they were dating. They were both. <laughs> it was very oh, yeah. bad. Oh yeah. Um, because I think they made jokes about them looking like they were dating, but they were siblings. <laughs> anyways, dating with siblings. Um, they were the enemies. Anyways. Do you have any other shows that you want to yes, discuss? Yes, I have a couple. Ant Farm. Oh, Ant Farm. Did you watch Ant Farm? I did. I don't... I remember one episode very vaguely. Um, And I think it's an episode where, like... They're in a different, like... They're in a secondary location. They're not in the actual school. I think they're at, like, high school or something. (laughs) Or, like, a different... They moved locations, okay? Um, And they're... (laughs) Yeah, and it was run by a British guy. (laughs) Yeah, um, and I don't remember a single thing about that episode. I just remember them being in a different place, and that was my favorite episode because I think there was drama happening, but I don't remember what the drama there was. There was so much drama, yeah. Um, do you remember when I texted you one day? <laughs> oh, my God. And I said, Gigi, I have to tell you a secret. This is what I texted you. Gigi, I have to tell you a secret. Gigi. What is it? Me. I have a crush on Fletcher from Ant Farm. <gasps> I remember and I that. Say, and then I and then I repeat after the text I said to you, now quick delete this text from your phone. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no proof. <laughs> I have the fattest crush on Jake Short. I go back and I look at him and I'm like, no. He was also in another show called Mighty Med, which he was basically a um, a superhero um, surgeon with um, the guy who plays Gabe in Good Luck Charlie. I forget his name, but they were in the show together. Not and Gabe. They, yeah, they literally fixed up superheroes. It was called Mighty Med. Um, crazy show. They did have a cl- crossover with Lab Rats. I haven't even gotten close to Disney XD, Gigi. We're not even, we're not done with this episode. I mean, yeah. I had a lot Maybe of Maybe another two parter, God. I know. I was like, man, I do have a lot of these shows that I watched. But um, I'm just going to go try to go down them quickly. And you can tell me if you have favorites from them. If you don't remember them, then we'll just move on. So, mm-hmm. um, well, first of all, Ant Farm. Did you have a favorite? You, your favorite episode was the one where they switched. Yeah, yeah. My, I don't know what my favorite episode. Probably something with Jake Short in it. But um, I also liked Olive. I thought she was funny. Now I look back yeah. on her. Olive is an autistic nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> also, they fat shamed that kid like crazy. Angus. His name is literally yeah. Angus after Angus Beef. Like, they fat shamed him like crazy. <laughs> um, yeah. But also, China was always just, like, grooving. Like, she was, like, the vibe. Yeah. Um, I don't know where she is today. But... <laughs> Isn't her name also China? Yeah, it's just but spelled like different a different last name. name. Yeah. Um, yeah. But also, her dad was a cop, and I liked the show because it took place in San Francisco, and that's local to us. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, what do you keep doing? <laughs> I don't know. It feels in my head when I do, when I salute like that, I, I hear in my head, please stand for our national anthem. <laughs> <laughs> um, so basically, um, I loved Ant Farm. That was like my favorite show. That and Jesse. Jesse, I loved that show. Um, R.I.P. Um, Cameron Boyce, you were a miss. Yeah. Um, sorry, you had such a terrible aunt. That was also the first time. I don't remember it, but my brother remembers it. That um, Ravi in that show, he mentioned Shah Rukh Khan. Um, he does? Yeah. Yes, he mentions Shah Rukh Khan. And I think that is so funny 
And my brother said that's the first time he heard his name and he remembers it. And I was like, I don't remember that at all. Um, we got to rewatch Mr. Jesse together. Yeah. Um, the I always remember the woman who like lived a floor down from them and was like divorced like several times. <laughs> um, she was funny. That, that, that show had some good episodes. Um, could I tell you my favorite? No. For some reason, nothing's yeah. coming to me. Um, yeah, my, DJ, favorite when I, my favorite was when I thought that Jessie was going to leave the show because I think she got like a better job offer. <laughs> and they were like, no, she's going to leave. And that was my favorite episode. I didn't like <laughs> Jessie. <laughs> Nobody liked the Jesse. Everyone but no, the kids but like, were like the best part of the show. Yeah. You remember how Cameron Boyce's character was like into Jesse? And she like didn't really do anything about it. Yeah, that was kind of weird. No, she was like pushing him off. She's like, oh no, that's weird. Um Yeah, but she was never like, hey, this would never work out. Not only yeah, am brother I you know, had a crush older on Debbie Ryan. But... Haven't we all at one point? <laughs> she's dating a guy from 21 pilots no she's married she's married to him good, right? good for her yeah i think she's been um, married for a while huh but anyways so um jesse is one um another one um lab rats did you ever watch lab rats no um main reason i watched it at a crush on chase um, who was actually not supposed to be the hot one. He was supposed to be the nerdy one that nobody liked. And in the show, everybody was always like, nobody likes you, Chase. You suck. Um, they always say that to the hottest character. Like, I'm just... <laughs> well, the thing is, is that they did have, like, the token hot character. And his name was Adam. And he was, like, supposed to be, like, his, like... They had, like, superpowers, but not really. Because they were, like, injected with, like, this implant that made him, like, superhuman. Um, so they that's were why experimented on pets. as children. <laughs> yeah, they were tested on, and um, yeah, that's why the main generational like, the main trauma. Yeah, one of the main characters, Leo. He like in the first episode, he like like the dad marries his mom, and so like now Leo lives with him, and so he accidentally goes into his basement and he finds you know people in there, and he's like, "Yo, where do you guys come from? We didn't ask for that." And um, and so ask for that. <laughs> so he like you know he becomes best friends with them because they're like his siblings. But his his mom finds out and and he's like, "What do you mean you've been testing on children?" <laughs> um, great show, love that show. Um, I'm gonna try to speed past these because I know it's getting kind of late. Um, another show is Dog with a Blog. Did you watch that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He did have a blog. That is for sure. And he wrote the hardest stuff on there. If he had a podcast, I'd listen. Exactly. But um, he would not have a podcast because that would expose his identity as a dog. There is like a... um, I think there was like an ongoing thing where like he talked. Yeah. And like nobody knew it except for like the main girl, right? I think or did she not like even know the it? kids? The kids knew, but like the parents didn't know that he was talking. Oh uh, yeah. Um and yeah, they were and like, Well, our dog can talk, and then the parents that. were like, No, not. <laughs> they would he would he would say full ass words and they would be like, Stop barking. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah, that was strange, but I watched it. I watched it very, um, a lot. I watched it a lot. I watched that show a I, lot. I watched I have it a, a lot too, out. but I don't it. remember how it started or ended. So I think it I always have ended with his reruns. blog. It always ended with his blog. No, but and I mean like the end of the series. Like... I never oh, watched the beginning yeah. or ended the series. I just kind of jumped into it. I know his parents <laughs> found out he talked at one point. I know they did. I just don't remember. Oh, I know that. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of the other shows I watched. I think they find his blog at one point. They do? Like the parents. (laughs) And they're like, which Um, one of you? The dog. So I used to watch, um, I used to love 
um kicking it i don't think you watched that did you watch it no no um it was basically a bunch of a group of guys and one girl who did um karate and it was an incredibly funny show i recently rewatched this show like recently as in like the last like three years or so um and it holds up it's still really funny um i really liked the show i was really attracted to the main character and that's why i watched it um also the girl who is in it her name in real life is olivia so that's another reason i watched it um crazy yeah that's a, that's about it that's all i can think that's all you can think of well yeah. um i i we did mention good luck charlie very very briefly mm, yeah but, um i good show the only thing i remember about the show other than oh wait you know what i do remember an episode of that show and it was and it's only because people have like criticized this choice because there's an episode where um teddy the main the main character um she has this boyfriend and she finds out that he's been cheating on her and you know what she breaks up with him but then at the end of the series she gets back together with him yeah but he's sorry doesn't matter (laughs) we're showing this to children olivia they don't know that when adults apologize in a meaningful way that matters they're just gonna hear that somebody says sorry that i cheated on you and then they're gonna be like it's okay even if they're like also not sorry well also when spencer came back he had this terrible hair yeah oh well but she went to yale she went to yale that's how it ended was her going to yale (laughs) yeah (laughs) um but yeah good luck charlie was a good show best yeah, part of the show was charlie Indeed. oh and pj pj was so funny <gasps> yeah did i forget pj he was the best i forgot about pj too and he you know what i liked about that episode yeah you know what i liked about that episode where they find out that he, uh her boyfriend's been cheating is that they like don't get mad at each other like the two girls like they start writing songs together they like write they write us and perform a song together i don't remember what the song was or what it's about but i remember them jamming out together yeah in they her get basement. back at him yeah well anyways do you want to add anything else gg um please uh hit the subscribe button and like this video and add it to a playlist. It can be any playlist. Listen to us while you sleep. Um, and y- you know what? I think I think that's about it. Why don't yeah. you take us out? All right. Well, um, thank you very much for listening, Pasta Fam. The Pasta Podcast loves you very much. We hope to see you soon. We hope you eat some good pasta, and we hope you have a wonderful night or day. Or afternoon, whatever time it is for you. All right, signing off. See you later, everyone. Good night and good luck.